All right, everybody. Let's see what AI can do. Okay. I got a topic, and the topic is how do I trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Hmm. You know, this should be straightforward, but to many, it's not. Um, and I'm not going to preach. Let's just go on. Let's just ask AI what they think. Hello? Okay. There we go. So, hmm. Can, no, I'll look. Can you explain to me and the masses how does one trade Bitcoin and other crypto cryptocurrencies and explain step by step on how to start from scratch with no not knowledge of web three what's whatsoever and explain it like I am 14 years old or like I am 75 years young <laughs> Sorry. Young and I hear about this top topic a lot on Facebook, but I don't know or understand or trust any anything new new that hasn't been around for a long time and how much money do, would I need to get started and do I need a phone or a computer or can I call up my broker at Charles Schwab and ask my broker if they can do this for me even though I am willing to learn I just don't want to be scammed like all the other companies out there are doing because Facebook has stayed, stated so. And I have over 100K to invest, but I am scared. So what do you suggest? And how can I make sure my money is 100% secure? And will I gain interest by investing in Bitcoin per se? Per se. Whew, my hands are... And... Can you produce... A mini guide for me to tell my friends back at we both at the senior center. That way I can be the star of the star of the the day with my impeccable knowledge. A bit coin which no no one else at the senior center knows anything about it and they complain that complain 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 oh, 
it doesn't matter. And, and they complain that their grand youngings, that their grand youngings are so obs obsessed and they are so not interested because, because of FTX and Silicon Valley bank fraud. So please help an old geezer out. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm sorry. That's, whew, I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to, I should read it, right? Not this, okay, yeah, let's read it here instead of there. Okay. Can you explain to me in the masses how does one trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Explain step by step on how to start from scratch with no knowledge of Web3 whatsoever. Explain it like I'm 14 years old or like I'm 75 years young. And I hear about this topic a lot on Facebook, but I don't know or understand or trust anything new that hasn't been around for a long time. <laughs> and how much money would I need to get started? And do I need a phone or a computer? Or can I call my broker at Charles Schwab and ask my broker if they can do this for me? Even though I'm willing to learn, I just want to be, I just don't want to be scammed like all the other companies out there are doing because Facebook has stated so, and I have over 100K to invest, but I'm scared. So what do you suggest and how can I make sure my money is 100% secure? And will I gain interest by investing in Bitcoin? That's actually a really good question, per se. And can you produce a mini guide for me to tell my friends back at Weebull and at the Senior Center that that way I can be the star of the day with my impeccable knowledge of Bitcoin, which no one else at the Senior Center knows anything about it. And they complain that their grand youngins are so obsessed and they are not interested because of FTX and Silicon Valley bank fraud. So please help an old geezer out. Let's see what happens. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go straight to Pell. We're just going to copy that. Boop. And we're going to, let's just see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. So I don't like to uh, show y'all anything. Let's wait, wait, wait. Well, wait, wait, wait. This is the easiest thing ever. Once you, the hardest part is, is typing. Oh, you know, I can just dictate that sucker. I'm going to try that next time. Just talk. Just talk like crap. And AI will put your crap together in a nice, sophisticated way, of course. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I like I like this. As a series and try to gain followers and subscribers is is not happening. And I'm okay with that because this is all part of my bigger all plan life. <laughs> so I just want to show you the power of AI. I want to show you the power of Solidity Coding. I want to show you the power of the meta earth. I want to show you the power of NFTs and avatars and VR environments. There's so much. So this is one little fraction. Let's see. Ooh. Still going? Okay, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Allow me to clear my throat. <clears throat> sure. I'll do my best to explain simple terms, type of stuff. Step one, learn about Bitcoin and, cri and cryptocurrencies. Firstly, it's important to understand that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are digital currencies that are decentralized, meaning they are not controlled by any government or financial institution. You can learn more about them by reading articles online or watching videos on YouTube. True. Okay. Choose a cryptocurrency exchange. To trade cryptocurrencies, you need to sign up for an account on a cryptocurrency exchange. Some people exchange, some some popular exchanges include Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. You need to provide your personal information such as your name and email address and set up a password. Verify your identity. 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 Most exchanges require you to verify your identity before you can start trading. This involves providing a government-issued ID, driver's license, or passport, and sometimes a selfie to confirm your identity. Add funds to your account. Once your account is verified, you can add funds to your account. You could do this by linking your bank account or credit card to the exchange. Some exchanges may also accept other payment methods such as PayPal or wire transfer. Got hot. All righty. Number five, buy cryptocurrencies. After adding funds to your account, you can buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You could do this by placing an order on the exchange. You'll need to choose the cryptocurrency you want to buy, the amount you want to spend, and the price you're willing to pay. Once your order is filled, the cryptocurrency will be added to your account. Store your cryptocurrencies securely. Number six, 
It's important to store your cryptocurrency securely to, to prevent them from being stolen. You can store them on, on the exchange, but it's recommended to transfer them to a hardware wallet, which is a physical device that stores your private keys offline. This provides an extra layer of security. Hmm. In terms of how much money you need to get started, it really depends on what you're comfortable with. You can start with a little, as little as $10 or as much as 100000 It's important to only invest what you can afford to lose. You can trade cryptocurrencies using a phone or computer, but it's recommended to use a computer for more advanced trading. You can't call up your broker or child swab and ask them to trade cryptocurrencies for you, and they don't support it. Boo! Okay, sorry. To ensure your money is 100% secure, it's important to use a re reputable exchange and store your cryptocurrency securely. You should also enable two-factor authentication on your account for extra security. Investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies does not provide invest interest like a traditional savings account. However, the value of cryptocurrencies can go up or down, so you can potentially make a profit if you buy low and sell high. I hope this mini guy helps. It's important to do your own research and only invest what you can afford to lose. Good luck. That actually is a nice little mini guy. I'm trying to think if I can do one more command. Um, like, uh, how, how about this? Can you teach me uh, step by step on how to To get a meta mass wallet. See that? Uh, obviously, I know about it, but somebody in the center, they may not know. So I'm trying to think of a, a bridge question like, well, how does one, with the exchange, I heard, oh, yeah, maybe I can say that. I, I heard, I heard one needs, a wallet of some sort. Can you teach me stuff on how to get a, get a a web three wallet? And do I have to download anything because I am scared of viruses? Okay. Like I said, it, it produced what it, it actually touched on a, a couple of points. It says you cannot do interest. Charles Schwab will not um, um, trade for you. And the most you can put in is 100000 which is interesting because I thought you could put in more. But anyways, okay. So let's see. Woo. Yeah, this is it. Okay. We're, we're going to stop here, but... Yes, to store your cryptocurrency security, you need a wallet. A Web3 wallet is a type of wallet that allows you to interact with a decentralized application dApps on the blockchain. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to get it. <laughs> choose a Web3 wallet. There are many Web3 wallets to choose from, including MetaMask, My Ether Wallet, and Trust Wallet. You can research each wallet and choose the one. Visit the wallet's website. Once you've chosen a wallet, visit the wallet's website. Make sure you're on the official website, not phishing websites. You can check the URL, you, the URL to make it sure it's correct. Download the wallet extension. Most Web3 wallets are browser extensions that you can download for free. You'll need to download the extension for your preferred browser, such as Chrome, Firefox, or Brave. Nice. Install the wallet extension. After downloading the extension, follow the installation instructions. You'll need to give the extension permission to access your browser. Okay. Number five. Create a new wallet. Once the extension is installed, you can create a new wallet. Follow the instructions to create a new wallet. You'll need to set a password in your and save your C phrase. Your C phrase is a list of words that you can use to recover your wallet if you forget the, your password. Fund your wallet. To fund your web wallet, you can transfer crypt cryptocurrencies from your exchange account to your wallet address. You can copy your wallet address from the wallet's interface and paste it into the withdrawal section of your exchange account. Oh, okay. It's important to make sure you download the wallet extension from the official website to avoid downloading any viruses or malware. That's great. Because remember, I said something about that. You can also use antivirus software to scan the download file before installing that. I hope this helps. Remember, so for step number six, can you explain in detail how? how how that works.
Yes. The fund you web URL you need to transfer cryptocurrency from your exchange account to your wallet address. Here's how to do it. Look at your wallet. Okay, okay, hold on up. Look at your wallet address, open your web wallet extension, and navigate to the receive section. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. You should see your wallet address listed there. It's usually a long string of letters and numbers. Copy your wallet address. Click on the copy button next to the wallet address. So copy to this clipboard. Go to your exchange account. Log into your cryptocurrency exchange account and navigate to the withdraw or send section. Choose the cryptocurrency to withdraw. So, uh, to, uh, choose the cryptocurrency to withdraw. Select the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw. See, I didn't know that was the title. Wait a minute. <clears throat> you should see a drop-down menu where you can choose the cryptocurrency. Paste your wallet address in the withdrawal ad address or recipient address field. Paste your web to your wallet in the withdrawal address or recipient address field. Paste your wallet three, your, your web three wallet address that you copied earlier into the amount to withdraw. Into the amount of cryptocurrency you want to withdraw, make sure you have enough funds in your exchange account to cover the withdrawal. Confirm the transaction. Review the details of the transaction and confirm it. Depending on the, ex on the exchange, you may need to enter a verification code or confirm the transaction via email. Wait for the transaction to complete. Once you confirm the transaction, the exchange will process it and send the cryptocurrency to your Web3 wallet address. The transaction could take a few minutes to a few hours to complete, depending on the blockchain network's congestion. And then that would be another question. What is um, blockchain network congestion? And it was all about all... Blah blah blah. For each block, for each block on the chain, it takes it can only do so many um, trades at a time. And blah blah blah. It was over. Bob. Okay. Anyways, after the transaction is complete, you should see the cryptocurrency you want to You can now use your wallet to send and receive cryptocurrencies and interact with decentralized applications on the blockchain. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Boop. Mic drop. AI does it again. All right, folks. Until we see each other again, another AI video complete to my satisfaction. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.